Hey guys, Darren here again, Global Garage. So I've got this uh, Sega light phaser gun on um, top of the master system. And this one actually does work, but it's shooting a little bit to the left. So there's probably not a lot we can do, but I suspect the, uh, the glass is dirty or and sensor just in here are just a little bit out of alignment. So all we're gonna do is open it up and uh, just take a look, probably give it a clean, put it back together and just give it another test. So uh, that's it. We're just gonna do a really simple video. So first thing I do is uh, unscrew it, but there's a hidden screw up under here under this label. And to get to it, I use like a little metal tool, but um, we're gonna heat the glue up in behind there first. So I'll just grab a heat gun. Uh, you can use a hairdryer if you've got one, but a uh, heat gun works really well. So I'll quickly do that and we'll take this label off. Okay, so with it nice and hot, just get your spatula or your tool and just wedge that underneath. The whole thing will just come right out. So that's how I do that one. It just uh, it's just kind of like that. It's kind of like that spray on glue. So a bit of heat and that sort of fixes that. And um, we'll let the hot air gun cool down and we'll go ahead and take all these screws out. So pretty straightforward. Just back them out. All right, I'll go and do that. Ahead and do that. Okay, so you know that one will come out as I lift the case off. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get out physically. Um, just out of interest, uh, this one, this one, and this one were the longer screws. That one's a medium sized one, uh, and these two are quite small. So when you put it back, that's where they all go. So just pop the case, just be uh, delicate with this because it's a little bit uh, fragile. Pull up the cord out now. If you turn it upside down, you know, my lens is stuck on that inner case. Uh, so the lens is just a, just a piece of plastic, really. We'll just give that a clean. Uh, it just sits in there like in like that. So, um, yeah, it's going to get dirty, so we'll clean it at the very end. Um, the unit itself, it's pretty easy uh, to work out how it all comes together. Uh, Actually, this is interesting. This one looks like it's actually been repaired once before. I don't know if this heat shield stuff is factory. It's interesting. So you get your micro switch that pushes on the trigger. That sits across those two posts. I think that's working fine. We'll, we'll check the continuity of that, but should be okay. Yeah, that is interesting. Things that typically go wrong with these are just these uh, four wires here coming off the control port. So just check your uh, solar points, check the wire isn't broken. It's definitely the first thing I'd be looking for if it wasn't working. Uh, and you could go ahead and do things like replace the caps out, which are, there's also some under here. But if you look down the end of that, there's a little, uh, I think it's called a photodiode that shoots um, it senses light actually, so when the screen flickers when you pull the trigger, that senses light. So we're just going to make sure all this is straight and you know that's a bit off actually. So we'll tweak it all, we'll make it all square and straight, make sure that little uh, diode is in the right position, and try and get it to shoot a bit more accurately. So I'll have to pull this case off. So we're, we're kind of soldered on down here, so I'll get the soldering iron all set up, we'll melt those points, pull that little tin case off and have a look. Um, go 
go from there, but there's not much inside these things, really. These are weights. It's all they are. They just add a bit of uh, weight to the handle. So uh, if they're rattling around like they usually do, um, I think the best thing to do is just, uh, you know, just tape them up. Just put some more tape on them, jam them in, because the, I find that when anything like this rattles and the user holds it, they're just going to shake it more and rattle it more. And I don't know, these are kind of sensitive items, so I wouldn't be uh, doing that. So let's just chuck some tape on that a bit later in the video. We'll stop them wobbling around. And that'll hopefully uh, stop someone ruining it in the future. So, okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've been playing with these uh, just off camera a little bit and just uh, getting them all worked out. I've actually got two here, so two different guns. Uh, this is the one we started with. So this one turns out it's 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 almost perfect. Um, I still haven't got onto the, the case here, but uh, the second one I pulled completely apart and that wasn't working at all. And I'll just quickly tell you what I did to fix it. Um, so I, I traced the the wires all the way. So from these four points down to uh, the end of the controller port. And I just did a simple continuity test from this end to, to, to this end. And um, what helped me do the test was a spare controller port. I just, uh, I've had this already desoldered out of a Master System 2. So, you know, you just plug it in basically. And you've got access to the pins just a lot easier. So uh, I just did continuity back and forth between these four pins and, and these pins here. And, uh, you know, just tested it out. So, and I noticed there was a break. So if I just grab my, uh, grab my multimeter, and turn it on, when it's set to continuity, so just a continuity there. Um, I had that little connector on just to help me do it, but all you sort of need to do just, end to end is uh, you know just start at one point like there and just and just test the points so I found that that top one there there's those two and also that end one so all I did was compare this working one to the faulty one and I determined that one of these pins wasn't uh, connecting properly so it's I think these are just power and ground and these two are their actual switching point points that get joined together from that micro switch. So that one's up on that end pin and that one's next to it. So it's basically just, yeah, that one and that one. And uh, it's a bit hard for me to do this with one hand, but when you join that circuit, they join together. So luckily I had two to compare, but to cut a long story short, uh, that's what I started to do. And I had a break in the wire in this one. So you'll notice it's now just sort of coming out the bottom um, and also halfway down the wire, I've got a big repair in the wire down there. There was also a crushed part of the wire which had a break. So I've just taped that together. So look, that's, that's what I'm just going to use for my own use. And I'm not going to sell that one to anyone because it's, it's too badly damaged, but it does work. But, uh, you know, just coming back to this guy. So you've really got to test these four points right down the wires. And this one does look like it's already been worked on. Um, so I had the brake right in there, in the bottom of the um, this plastic uh, sort of stopper thing. So that's where the cable flexes a ton. So I had a brake there. You know, it's, it's kind of a hard place to fix. And I had the brake halfway down. So what I, what I ended up doing was cutting off the uh, chunky sort of stopper thing. I just split it down the middle. Uh, you can see like that. Um, it was really hard to slide the cable through this. I was hoping I could just slide some more cable through it, snip the cable and just resolder the points, but I didn't really want to slide too well. So I just turfed it and, uh, you know, basically shorten the wire, uh, you know, cut it off before the, the break, feed it all, all the way through and I've resoldered it to these points up here on the other gun. And then when you, when you finish with it and you want to, you know replace this sort of stopper you just make sure the cable goes around the posts just like that and that adds you know when you when someone pulls up this direction it just adds tension to the, the wire physically with friction and you know it's going to pr pr um, protect the the cable and the joints so that's what i ended up doing with the other gun 
Uh, and there's, there's really not much else that goes wrong with these things. Turns out um, this end up here is, uh, it's just a matter of sort of straightening the sensor. I didn't even have to open the lid. Um, so I just got to just look down the barrel basically and uh, just make sure this sensor here, it just looks like an LED. Just make sure that's sort of pointing directly at you and mine wasn't. So I just grabbed pliers on the, on the whole plastic sort of case like that and I just tweaked it. And I just gave it a bit of a movement to the uh, one side and straighten the whole thing up. You know, what you could do is just get underneath, um, you know, pop this open, desolder those points just to make it easier to work with, straighten it up and resolder them. But this one was absolutely good to go. So I've had no real issues with this one whatsoever. This is just, uh, just that was out of alignment a little bit. Uh, I'm going to clean the lens and I'll put it all back together. But this proved to be a, an excellent sort of um, reference for the bad one to get it to get it all working. So let's just go ahead and reassemble it. Just put this in like that. That's going to sit down there. The original stopper that'll run around that post for some friction. Uh, that can sit. That can sort of sit like that. The switch sits uh, diagonally across the two posts, just like that. That's all that's doing. I'd like to tuck these wires underneath it. There's plenty of room. Uh, that reseats back into there. And you're pretty much good to go at that point. Uh, just, and just the lens. Um, let me just grab the lens, give it a clean. We'll do a refit and see how, see how it goes. So just bear with me for two seconds. So to clean up this lens, I just like to use isopropyl alcohol and uh, some just some cotton buds, just uh, you know, just some basic ones. And the lid of the actual container, I just spray the isopropyl into, just a couple of squirts. Grab a fresh one, just really drown that in alcohol. Grab your lens and just, well, don't do that. Uh, there we go. So I've probably just dropped and scratched it and just uh, give it a clean. So on both sides. Yeah, it looks, looks okay. I didn't damage it. Just both sides, just really clean it right up. And there are micro scratches across this bit of plastic basically, but I don't think they matter. I don't think it's that sensitive, this whole device, so you're pretty right. Okay, so just make sure that's nice and clear to look through. And then just holding it on the edges, just really carefully place it back in its little holder. And then, like that won't hurt it at all, it's fine to sit there. Um, we just refit the end cap, which just slides down like that. And the trigger, so the trigger's got a little metal post here, which does come out, but this one's already back in, and you just put the trigger back over the post, up under the micro switch, and just make sure make sure that clicks. Make sure that's all sitting where it should. Okay, and let's put it all back together. Um, so off camera, also I washed these. You know, I took these right down to their bare plastic, and I gave them a wash inside and out. So I'd highly recommend you do that. And that's it. Everything back in place, just uh, just start with the rear, just make sure you slide the rear end cap into that top lid, make sure the base sits properly where it needs to sit. And then just give it a wiggle and yeah, that's gonna happen a few times, the lens is gonna fall out. So we start that again, we're we'll getting a new cotton bud and give it another clean, so you know, if you're not careful, you'll end up doing that once or twice, like I just did. It's a bit of a pain, but it's got to be clean, so let's just put that back in. Okay, now yeah, we're getting stuck somewhere, which was caused me to drop that, so let's try and get this back together. What are we getting stuck on? Uh, that wasn't sitting in the right spot, so just yeah, just pa really pays to get everything 
lined up first before you try to put this on. It is quite fiddly. Okay, that looks better. All right, lens is in place. Okay, that's gone down nicely. That can be spun. Yep, the lens is sitting nice and square. Just really make sure that's in the right position before you go any further. Trigger's firing. And just to just to hold it together while we test, I'll just put in, you know, the medium screw there and maybe like, you know, one of the larger screws up in here. So I'll just grab those screws, grab a screwdriver. Uh, what do we got? Got one over here. So this is a long one. Definitely put one up in the back of the handle. I think it really needs one up there. Little tiny ones will go up the front here. Uh, don't do that. This one really needs magnetized so I can do this a bit easier. So, okay, so that's going in. Right, pretty much got that held together with those two. That's probably enough. Um, so yeah, we can give that a test and then refit our sticker at the very end. So that's ready for testing. Okay, so let's give this a test run. Uh, it's a bit hard to film this, like, you know, the TV uh, just flickers a little bit when you film them, like, looks like there's a horizontal flickering line, but there isn't in real life, so it's just the way these are filmed. Okay, it's all working pretty well. Pretty accurate. Um, yeah, it is a bit hard for me to film and uh, do this at the same time. See if I can get a better angle on that for damn birds. Let's get some ammo. Oh, I'll let the bird go. This one's not going to be so lucky. Damn. I think I'll get my ass kicked here. Oh, shouldn't shoot those medics. It's a bad idea. Oh, I died. So not really paying too much attention trying to film this at the same time. But you get the idea. So um, I'll finish this gun off. I'll put the label back on. I'll screw it all back together properly. But I think it's uh, I think it's quite accurate. You know, we're getting pretty accurate shot down the barrel. So it's just the uh, just the inside, just the um, sensor was a little bit out of alignment. All right, guys. So good luck with your guns and start playing some old Master System again.